What's up, everybody? Topher Welsh here for VisualFXTuts.com. I got a super easy, fast, quick tip for you guys today. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to fix the uneven lighting on this guy's face here because he wanted his whole face to be kind of shining bright, and there's not much I could do since we didn't light it correctly or it wasn't lit correctly when we shot it on green screen. So. Our original layer is this one. Um, it looks pretty good since it was high, high res and everything, but once you get going through the keyers and you put it on to uh, into a lower lower size format like this one, you tend to notice things a little bit more. So what I did is I just brought him in here at full res and I keyed him, did a color range, a simple choker, and key light. Uh, then what I did is I basically pre-comped that, I just bring, brought that into a new comp, and then I added a levels and a curves. I actually didn't use the levels, but if you see what I did with the curves, all I did was I take the red here, and I'm going to take this red and pull the red down until his jacket turns back to black. So, there we go. So we got our jacket back to black, and we are going to now fix this dude's face. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're just going to add a s little new adjustment layer. And when I mean little, I mean little. It's just going to have a mask on it that's about that big. And then we're going to hit F to go to the feather properties. Let's do like 25 on the feather. Um, and then we're going to double click one of these points. Oops, didn't want to do that, I don't think. No. Uh, v, hit V on the keyboard and then do one of your points. We're going to move this over this way. Now nothing's happening yet because we haven't even applied a effect to this. So the reason we're putting it right here is because this is the part we're going to have affected and the reason we feathered it was so that it's a graduated uh, effect onto his face. That means there's kind of like a fade of the effect. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go and apply levels to this. Now I'll just go down here to my FT toolbar. If you guys don't have this plugin or haven't tried it, you're seriously missing out. This is so sweet. I got um. Crop comp to region of interest. I got time remapping, uh, fit to comp height, fit to comp, color range, simple choker, key light, stereo mixer, optical flares, VC reflect, drop shadow, ramp fill, fast blur, levels curves, trim comp to work area, calculator, add a null, pre comp to layer duration, um, time reverse key frames, and you get your edit. It's freaking amazing. You can put as many on here as you want to. It's just it's so sweet. Anyways, got off on a tangent there. Anyways, what we're going to do is we're just going to add a, a levels effect to our adjustment layer. Just hit levels, it's going to pop up. And we're just going to pull this in here so that this side's matching this side. And you don't need too much, just to if you blow them out too much, you'll see. We'll put it about right there. That way his hair is not blowing out. So then if we let go here, you're going to see you got a nice even image and he, at this resolution which is going to be the final resolution it's looking pretty good so if you're looking at uh, pre-levels and adjustment layer to the final version it's quite a huge difference but like you would never know until you actually did it so that's the quick tip for you guys today my name's Topher Welsh I hope this helps you out make sure you check back at visualfxtuts.com for more blog news we got product reviews, giveaways, all kinds of stuff. And of course, more tutorials, quick tips, and all that kind of good, good, goody goodness. I will see you guys next time. Bye.